Hi, this is Ed Moten from Eorum Performance Tuning again, and I'm back for another uh, tutorial. Um, tonight's tutorial is going to be a very quick uh, how to transform a user defined uh, wideband. <laughs> so, simply put, um, well, most of the process is the same. We're going to have to add a channel. So, we come in, we add a channel, we come down to our MPVI Pro. Um, we already have one in, so we're just going to add a second one to the input 2. Input 2 pops up close this window, right click, we're now going to transform this analog channel into a wideband. We're going to come over, if we want it to be an equivalence ratio, we're going to select equivalence ratio, and as we're going to make a user defined, what we're going to do is we're going to find a, a unit that's, that's close, but it really doesn't much matter because you're going to redefine the transform function anyways. So let's just say we're going to call it a, a PLX. So we're going to collect PLX. And as soon as we do that, we're going to see what the pre-configured values are going to be down in here. But what's going to happen is the little copy to user defined FX is going to illuminate. We're going to click on that. That's going to transfer the PLX down into the user defined area. And here's where we're going to update the equation that we had. So let's just say for the sake of argument, this would be 5 volts. And let's just say this is one volt. All right. Then we would pick a parameter that we would want, and what we would do is we would come into here, and we could go in and find, um, basically call it what we'd like. So we'd go into the engine, right? We would come down into the uh, fuel. We'd come down into the open and closed oxygen sensors. And let's say we wanted to call it wideband EQ ratio 2. We double click on that. Uh, usually we're going to say yes to uh, to the generic sensors, but right now we won't. But then we're going to say yes. And what that's now done is configured the user defined area per this parameter title. And now you should be able to go in. So then we'll want to add that to our chart. So we're going to come down, we're going to add a series, right? We're going to open that series, we're going to do parameters, and we're going to go back and we're going to f to locate the same parameter that we called it. So we go into engines, we go into fuel, we go into open and close loop, we go into oxygen sensors, we come down to the MPQ ratio number one, we double click on that, we'll say no to that again, and now you've got your... Uh, your parameter in and you're good to go and you should be now be able to um, log that in accordance with the channel and I think John that that should fix up your problem so uh, hopefully it, it'll it'll do for you and uh, thank you for listening and we'll talk to you later thanks bye